There's a reason why I stopped making tutorials. I'm stubborn and I think I know everything about everything, which is completely not true. I sweat a lot and so five minutes into recording I'm already glazed like a fucking donut. And the third reason is, well, I'm a fucking idiot and he wants to look at me face for more than two minutes. No one does. But here I am, once again, for whatever reason. Today I'm going to be telling you how to apply T-grip to your video cameras. Now this does apply for DSLRs with the little X-grip cam caddy type things, but again, I only have uh, video cameras to demonstrate on, so that's what I'll be showing you. Now I've got quite a few of these, thanks to uh, Mr. Tadashi himself. So technically this is sponsored, I think? Or maybe not. He sent me a bunch to use for this video, which again, much appreciated. However, I did buy one myself and then after a little discussion we had, he also sent me another one. So I guess sponsored, but at the same time, I'm gonna tell you how I feel about the product and just kind of be, well, honest. And I know people say that and then it's like, wow, this product's amazing as they go cross-eyed. No, I will be telling you honestly how I feel about it. Be doing kind of a demonstration on how to apply it for different cameras. This is my VX1000. Nice. I've already applied uh, my T-grip to it, however I'll probably be applying it again just for demonstration purposes. Now the reason why you want a T-grip on your video camera or your DSLR is the fact that, well, if you're out filming for like five to six hours and you haven't got the heart to tell someone that they're shit at skateboarding, you're going to be filming for quite a while and if it's a hot day, your hands are going to get clammy and all sweaty and disgusting and that's where you start dropping shit. That's where the T-grip comes in. I don't know what, how it works, I don't know what the material is, but it just works. It kind of avoids the sweatiness and the disgusting blech of your hands and you can keep a firm grip no matter what so despite your friend Darren trying to do a kickflip for eight hours your hands no matter how sweated they are you ain't dropping this bitch no matter what now I've had this on two weeks or so and I've been filming with it a couple of times so far and you can tell the difference not only does it stop the camera from just kind of sliding around in your hand but the main thing for me is that I don't really know how to hold the camera properly now I know that sounds absurd but I've seen tons of people kind of hold it like this like that or full grip like that. At least with the T-grip, it kind of makes it soft because this is hard plastic and you're gonna get calluses, but it kind of makes it a nice smooth, soft ride. So that's a good thing. When I first saw these things, I will be honest, I was incredibly bloody skeptical of it because I mean, look at it. It's just like a strip. It looks like latex, some sort of sexy thing. Mm. But no, it's, it's legitimate and I can't back it enough, which is why I'm here to put it on every single camera I own. So I've got a bunch of them here. One, two, three, four, five. Even though I've actually got four cameras and mis miscalculated it. So I'm gonna be placing them on every camera I own as a demonstration. Let's crack on, shall we? This is my Panasonic HVX200. Uh, not to be confused with the 200A or anything like that. This is a pretty revolutionary camera, however, not compared to this, of course. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is get a T-grip on there. So when you buy a T-grip, this is what you get. You get a little sticker, a little description of what you've got, blah de blah and the actual thing itself. So let's open her up. So here we go, this is it. This is literally it, just some black fabric. Now, the whole point of it is, is that you kind of wrap it around the handle and then you trim it. And that's all you need to do. It's very, very simple. Even morons like myself can do it. All you need is some scissors. So here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a, I'm just gonna give it a go at first, just to kind of see what I'm working with. So I'm gonna wrap it around. Now I'm sure someone could, would look at this and think, my God, he's an idiot. Why is he doing it like that? And that's a very fair criticism. So you kind of wrap it around like that. If I can get my finger free, there we go. Now, this is where I kind of ran into a problem because the, ha the uh, handle has a record button and a zoom rocker on the top, as you can see there. So the real question is, is like, can you live without the zoom rocker and this record button on the handle? Now, not every camera has this. The uh, VX1000, for instance, doesn't have that because it's a stupid design, uh, but the H3X and all the Panasonic cameras do. So you've got to really question, um, can you live without the buttons on the handle? If you can, that's great because you can then cover the whole thing. If you can't, then you're gonna run into the kind of weird thing where you're kind of only covering that much. So in this case, I'm going to cover it because I don't care because remember, there's a second record button right there. 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to commit to it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is see this little thing here, this little red bit here. It's not that, that's the outer layer. That's where all the science stuff happens. That was a very correct term. So undo this, this large amount of plastic. There we go. And you want to recycle that. So now it doesn't feel particularly sticky this, but once you've put it on, it kind of sticks to itself. It's, again, space age stuff. I'm sure Neil Armstrong would be impressed by this. So let's pop her on. The other thing you need to do is take off this red outside layer here, as you can see there with my disgusting cretin hands. Undo that. Again, I know it's zoomed in, but you get the idea. So the, the H3X has a weird ridge here in this thing for like um, a little camera strap, but ignore that, just go over it. So I'm gonna put it on like so, and then fold it on itself like that, and not make a complete arse of it like I've just done. Now, if your camera has a hot shoe you, or a cold shoe, you'll want to um, make sure you don't cover that, otherwise you're gonna to struggle to actually get that on. So I'm actually not gonna cover the record button. I'm gonna kind of go from behind it because I don't need the record, the uh, zoom button. That's overrated. So like so, you just kind of feed it round, strangle the handle with the, that's, that should be the slogan to Dashi. Strangle the handle. So you wrap it round like so in the world's most uncomfortable sounding ambience. There we go. And then you kind of just squish her down, squish her down like that. There you go. Now, actually, I managed to kind of get the whole thing on without having to trim it. Now, that's good, but if you've got a smaller handle, like with the VX1000 here, you would need to trim it. Um, with the remainder of it, uh, just keep that as spare if you need it, or give it to a friend or an orphan. Anyway, so now, what I tend to do to make sure it kind of feeds into the kind of the finger grooves underneath the camera is I kind of just grab it. I just kind of hold it like this. Just kind of get my fingers into place and just squeeze like that. And that usually helps quite well. Um, in the case of the VX1000s or the VX cameras, there's no finger groove. So you just kind of squeeze it like so, squeeze it into place. But with this, these have grooves for your fingers, just like your uh, cam caddies and your X grips and whatever else. Now, the good thing about this is it's not a permanent thing. If you want to, you can just take it off. If you, if you don't like it or you want to readjust it, you can easily just pull it off and put it back on. It stays sticky, which is good. That's almost a sexual reference. I'm sure I'll get flagged for that. So this is the first camera done. I'm happy with that. Just give it a kind of a look, flatten some of the edges, make sure you get into the grooves of it. And there you go. Your H3X has a T-grip on it. Now <laughs> I'm gonna do another camera. So this is the Panasonic DVX100B. So as you can see, I have uh, the remnants of a Tadashi filter on there, and that was actually the remnants from the VX1000. So I'm gonna get rid of this one because it doesn't really cover the entire handle. And like I said before, look at that, just comes off, no problem, no problem at all. So get the other one out. I've got a lot of Tadashi uh, filter stickers. I'm not actually sure what the hell I'm gonna be able to do with all of them. Right, so once again, same premise. This has a, uh, a zoom rocker on the top, so I'm gonna have to be careful of that. Let's just open it and not make a fool of myself. You're gonna need fingernails for this, if I'm honest. Oh, we got it. There we go. That's a very satisfying plastic pull. Pop it on here. Wrap it around underneath, get a good firm grasp on reality. I mean, the T-grip. It's like bondage. If you're into bondage, you'll be good at this. If you're not, practice bondage, then come back to this video. I hope you don't plan on putting this on your video, uh, on your YouTube channel, Tadashi. Let's get that around there. See, now this is an interesting point because I can either leave it like that and just cut it right there, or I can just wrap it around like that just get a nice firm grip on reality like that. And look at that, much nicer, much neater as well. Just give give it a bit of a squeeze, squeeze the fucking camera, and you just kind of get it into the grooves like so. Just squeeze the motherfucker like that. Nice. So that's another one. That was actually the quickest one I've done. So that's this camera done. So this is the Panasonic HPX171 I was just shooting on. Uh, I'm going to apply T-grip to this one. This one, again, does have ridges in the handle, as you can see there. Only two of them, but, you know, still enough. Right, so I'm going to apply it to this camera here. There 
we go. Just give it a squeeze down, like so. And there you go. Nice little T grip. You can still get your fingers into the thing, but you've got all the support you need right there. Now, originally I wasn't gonna do this, but I know this is the camera people have been looking, like most looking forward to. So I'm gonna redo the T grip on my VX1000. Now I've done it differently here. I've started with the small end at the back and the big end at the top. Now that's not a bad idea. I probably should have done that, but here we go. So yeah, I know this is the camera people have been waiting for, because again, this is probably one of the more popular cameras amongst the rollerblading community. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the small end at the back and just go from there, really. Maybe I can get into this crevice here. Wrap, ar wrap around. Now the VX has a smaller hole. I'll let you fill in the blanks on that one. It, it really is a trial and error kind of thing. You're not gonna, I mean, like I've done today, purely for the, the, you know, the issue of time, you won't be doing this once. You're gonna be going back again and again to make sure you get this right. Cause you may look at it one day and you think, yeah, I can live with that. And then the next day you're outside, you're with your friends, you may be getting the camera and I was like, what the shit have you done to that camera? And I just, and you just look and it's like, what's wrong with it? And your friend's like, well, look at it. It's got like a weird glove on it. And then you realize what you've actually done is ruined your camera. That's why you've got to take time with this. You've got to make it look nice. Not only has it got to be usable, functional, but it's also got to look good. If you do what I do, which is make a complete pig's ass of everything, it's not going to look good and people are going to judge you. And well, no one wants that, do they? Wrap it around here, like so. I'm actually using the whole thing. So this is going to be an extra grippy T-grip. So now that's another thing I should add. You can either do one thin layer across the whole thing, or you can double wrap it to get extra grip. In this case, I'm probably gonna leave it at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get <laughs> the scissors here before stabbing myself in the chest and just, ooh. The only scissors have to be the worst ones in the house. This can't be real. I've got the shittest scissors in the <laughs> Come on. These things are shit. Again, this is not Tadashi's fault. This is the fucking sh I just hit the VX, that's not good. So I guess I'm gonna be leaving it on. That's what I meant to do in the first place, I swear. Pull that tight, wrap around, give it a good old squeeze on the fucking handle like that. And I've made it worse. <laughs> actually, no, it's not too bad. I'm kind of, I'm actually happy with that. This isn't the greatest video I've ever made, if I'm perfectly honest. Anyway, but yes, thank you to Dashi for sending all this stuff in so I can make this video. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. I'm going to go and uh, cry in the heat because it is so hot. Anyway, thank you for watching this stupid video. Thank you again to Tadashi Filters for kind of sponsoring, kind of not sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching.